Uh, hello everyone, this is Zhang Yi from Tsinghua University, and today I'm going to produce one of our recent, recent research. And this work was done when I was a visiting student in the University of Hong Kong. Uh, so before we open up the discussions on the technical details, I have to tell you a sad story. Do you know that every 10 days, a child will die inside their car due to heart stroke? So it's happening all around the world and uh, all around us. Uh, this is because their parents mistakenly left their children behind in the car when they left the car. So uh, the temperature could heat up 40 degrees inside the car and uh, eventually becomes deadly. And uh, all these tragedies should be avoided and can be avoided. The life critical situation calls for child presence detection. Uh, child CPD is a kind of technology that can detect and alert the presence of children inside cars. According to government regulations, more and more CPT systems are on their way to protect lives. Some works, uh, some works use pressure sensor to detect children, but have limitations in coverage. And some works use millimeter wave and ultra-wide band radar, but are very expensive. And some works install cameras in cars, but may cause privacy issue. And some works design Wi-Fi-based systems, but need extra hardware modification. So in this work, we try to answer an important question. Is it possible that we can provide a CPD service without extra hardware modification? Most, if not all, of the uh, cars are already equipped with speakers and uh, microphones. So if we can build CPD on these devices, many lives can be saved. However, performing in-car sensing with acoustic signals is not easy. As you can see from this figure, in carbon environment are crowded with seats, making it hard for signal modeling. Traditional ray tracing based models try to separate individual signal paths and find the most relevant one related to the target. But for multipath rich environment, when the person moves a little bit, most of the signal components will create variance, making it difficult to find the target. So why not embrace all of the multipath information? And our model is inspired by statistical approaches in Wi-Fi sensing. To put it briefly, uh, this work regards each object as a scatterer that can transmit signal away in all directions. They try to find the statistical properties of wireless signals. Without tracing individual paths, this model can imply important information, such as mo motion speed, as well as breathing pattern. So considering this remarkable performance, we are wondering if this model can still hold for acoustic signals. So let's build a statistical acoustic sensing from scratch. Uh, I will try to make, make it easy to understand. For complex environment, the measured channel state information is contributed by both the static and the dynamic components. Based on the statistical theory, we are aware that the ACF or CSI are equivalent to Bessel function. This takes us to three con conclusions. The first one is the amplitude of ACF corresponds to the motivation statistics. And the first thing of ACF corresponds to the moving speed. Also, if a human breathes in the environment, the first peak of ACF corresponds to his breathing rate. To, to validate this theory, we, we did some experiment. First, we deploy a pair of sp a speaker and a microphone in a crowded bedroom. The above figure is the ACF matrix. Throughout the entire six minutes, a person sat down on his chair and uh, then walked inside and outside the room. After that, he sat back to his chair and hold for a while. So it's, uh, it is observed, uh, observed from this uh, matrix that, um, uh, the, uh, from which that uh, the time lag of the first peak exactly reflects the breathing rate of the person. And uh, also, uh, sorry, and also, the motion indicator for walking inside the room are much higher than that of walking outside the room. Uh, to verify the speed theory, we deploy a pair of speaker and a microphone inside an office. And a metal, pl a metal plate was placed on a fixed track and moves at a fixed speed. By calculating the ACF, we find that the delay of the first peak exactly corresponds to the ground truth speed. So eventually, we have techniques to measure motion, breath, and the speed in complex environment. And uh, let's build a com complete CPD system from these uh, techniques. 
uh, we present the VCAR, an in-cabin child presence detection system with in-car acoustic devices. The system is triggered with, when the door is closed. It, it measures the channel response and the perform motion uh, and the motion and the breath with uh, the proposed statistical model. If mo motion or breath is detected, the system will send alert to the parents. So here are a couple of challenges to deal with. To perform statistical sensing, uh, the, first, uh, the first thing the system needs is the, to effectively measure the, measure the channel. The time domain format to, uh, of channel response is called channel impulse response. It contains several impulses that reflect the signal reflections. However, it is impossible to directly transmit an impulse due to the energy, uh, due to the energy limit limitation of speakers. Another way is to replace the impulse with a pseudo-random noise sequence. We can approximate the impulse response by simply correlate the received sequence with the transmitted sequence. So uh, while the amplitude of the sequence remains low, it can produce very high and sharp impulse in the center. And uh, to increase sensing coverage, we also wish to measure uh, uh, multiple channels at the same time. The system has to transmit simultaneously on separate speakers. We choose a PN sequence called Kasami sequence. Uh, each of the speakers transmit different Kasami sequences that are orthogonal to each other. For audio received on the microphone, we correlate them with, the, with different Kasami sequence to get independent channel measurements. This kind of sequence have, have very low co uh, cross correlation but a very high auto correlation response. However, the spectrum of Kasami sequence spans over the full frequency domain, making it intrusive to human ears. Besides, the background traffic noise will inevitably interfere with the channel response. So to deal with these problems, we apply a 15 kilohertz high pass filter on both the transmitter and the receiver sides. The left figure demonstrates the ACF and the CCF of the sequence after filter. The expected properties can still be observed from this, uh, this figure. The middle figure reserve, uh, reveals that the background traffic noise can be removed after the filter. And another practical issue is related to the subcarrier diversity. In the above SF matrix, only a small number of subcarriers can capture distinctive patterns. This, requ this requires an effective algorithm to combine all the subcarriers. And the waveform of different subcarriers may be in totally reversed direction, and it is not a good idea to add up directly. So we employ a maximum ratio combining algorithm commonly used in signal processing. The combining weights are selected as the motion statistics. With this algorithm, breeze pattern becomes more obvious than each subcarrier alone. So our experiment was conducted in downtown Hong Kong and Beijing. Hardware include the in-car devices, the microphone array, the home audio device, MacBook, and iPhone. The vehicle, uh, vehicles include seven cars of different sizes. And 15 young children participated in our experiment, aging from eight months to 10 years old. In this evalu uh, evaluation, uh, we evaluated the motion detection coverage inside a meeting room. It has a width of four meters and a length of six meters. A volunteer sits in the chair and moves his arm casually, and uh, a detecting distance of uh, up to five meters can be achieved. With two speakers deployed, there will be no blind spot in the whole room. And in this experiment, we evaluate indoor breeze estimation performance. A volunteer sits still in the chair for several minutes while we conduct the breath estimation algorithm. From the results, a breath detection rate a range of 4.5 meters can be supported. So even when the person is occluded by the chair, the detection range can be up to 2.5 meters. And uh, even when the person is wearing a coat, the detection range can be up to 4 meters. And uh, in this environment, we'll perform, uh, we'll perform several uh, evaluations with a high-end baby simulator, which is commonly used for clinical purposes. The baby model breathes at a different rate and uh, moves his arm randomly. The results show that the breath estimation error is within 3.4 breaths, breaths per minute, which, uh, uh, which, is BPM, uh, which is BPM in this, uh, in this uh, slide. 
and uh, with a blanket covered on his body, the error will decrease to around 8.6 BPM. It should be noticed that we placed our system in more than one meters away, and it is less intrusive to the baby. To simulate uh, minor motions, we put a toy car inside the cabin and let it move uh, around. Two speakers are placed on the front door and the microphone is deployed on the front control panel. Under this setting, there is no blind spot inside the car. This is, ba this is better than those uh, sensor-based and the camera-based CPD systems. And uh, we also conduct real-world CPD systems with young children in different cars. The children were wearing regular winter clothes and sit in the car for several minutes. During this experiment, their parents walk around the cars and, uh, to, ke to keep them safe, and there was frequent traffic noise. From the results, the detection rates are consistently above 98%, and the false alarm rates are below 2% 2 for different baby ages. And also, the detection rates are all above 95% for different car types. And also for different, car, for different locations inside the car, the detention rates are around 100% for front seats and over 95% for back seats. The performance is remarkable, which means that our system has a good potential for real-world deployment. The most relevant work to our, our system is Breast Journey, published in Movicon 2019. And we compare these two works in an office with a baby doll. From the results, we can see that the two systems have comparable performance within uh, 50 centimeters. And our system achieved 2.3 times improvement in sensing coverage. This improvement, we believe, comes from our, our careful modeling of multi-pass information. We also test five different types of speakers and microphones. We use uh, different combinations of these devices, and the motion detection results are summarized in the table. It indeed shows that the device diversity, uh, the, device, uh, the, the different devices can all be supported, yet uh, the good performance retains in most cases. Most importantly, the performance using authentic car speakers and microphone is remarkable. And we also evaluated the first alarm over a long-term study. We parked the car in a busy garage and uh, roadside for around 10 hours, respectively. And from the result, the first alarm rate is around 0.12% uh, and 0.28% for both scenarios. To conclude, we proposed the first CPD system using in-car speaker and the microphone with no astro hardware modification and no blind spot. We designed a noble paradigm of statistical acoustic sensing that allows motion detection and the bra uh, bracing estimation as well as speed monitoring in a unified framework. The proposed statistical acoustic sensing model opens a new direction in the increasingly hot acoustic, uh, acoustic sensing uh, area. So that's all for my presentation, and I'm willing to take any questions.